Hi guys, CJ Pearson here, and probably you've heard about the protest that happened last night following a appearance by Milo Yiannop Yiannopoulos um, at the University of California Berkeley campus. There are a lot of people out there who protested um, Milo's speech. He went there to address the audience of conservative students who had organized this particular event. He had intended to do what he had every right to do, use the First Amendment to further his message, and he was shut down. He was shut down by a bunch of ignorant children. Children is what they are, and as a 14-year-old boy, it feels a bit weird saying this, but I don't think being a child is always about your physical age, but I think it's sometimes about your mindset. Milo's event last night was shut down by a bunch of immature, juvenile children. Now the word that goes around these days is calling them snowflakes. And I'm sad to say that a lot of snowflakes exist within my generation. It makes me sad, and it, and it makes me angry because of the ignorance that is so pervasive within their mindset that they believe that if they don't agree with something, if they don't support the dialogue that is being had, that they can burn a few things down. They can punch a few people. They can break a few windows. And those people will shut up. That is the mentality of the left right now. The authoritarians. It is disgusting, demeaning, and downright degrading, not only to people who have differing views, but to the founding fathers who believe that everyone had a right to speak up. You know, the left is always tolerant until we ask for that same tolerance back. They want us to be tolerant of their views, but they never show us the same courtesy. You know, to the kids out there on Berkeley's campus who engaged in that foolishness, I have one message for you, and it's to grow up. From a 14-year-old boy, I'm telling you to grow up. The nation will not be built to your whim, will not be bent to your whims because you decide to throw a glorified temper tantrum that gets you national coverage. Because right now, you may have went out there and you may have had stark disagreements with Milo, but right now you look like Neanderthals. You look like thugs. You look like fascist. You know, Y'all use that word a lot to describe Donald Trump, but I think the very thing that really, really symbolizes fascism is the just total, total, just, just, just unacceptance, lack of acceptance of people with differing views, shutting it down and saying that they don't have a right to talk. I refuse to allow my generation to destroy ourselves from the inside out and believe that because we throw a temper tantrum, we can change the course of this nation. News flash to those kids on Berkeley's campus. 60 million people voted for Donald Trump. No matter how many buildings you set on fire, no matter how many people you punch, how many windows you break, Donald Trump is the president of the United States. We won, you lost, get over it. It is time to come together as a nation. You should be ashamed of yourself. And to the people who've incited this violence, like the mayor of Berkeley, you should resign. Thank you all. God bless. That's it for me. My uh, Instagram is the CJ Pearson. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter at the CJ Pearson. Um, uh, thank you all for watching today. And it's ridiculous, blatantly ridiculous. Thank you.